make a DIY. Woohoo! Alright, so let's get on to what we're doing today. So what you're going to do today is make a, a Q-tip decoration. So it looks a little something like this. So now let's get on to the materials. A foam ball of some sort that's easy to poke holes in. A stick of some sort. Some Q-tips. Another effective way to cut the Q-tips without them flying everywhere, because I had to get on my hands at least five times to grab them off the floor. So you can hold them like this. And just cut them in. And start sticking these in as deep as you want. And then just do that for really the rest of the ball. And you can do as many as you want. They can be pretty spaced out, they can be close together, they can do whatever you want. As long as you like it. But you'll need to do this for the whole entire thing. So again, you probably need Hey guys, so I forgot to mention that you need to make, or when, once you got one side done, as I do, you need to leave a space in the center of the other side so you can poke your, um, your big thing in. And you can also just leave it like this, or like fill the whole thing and you can have it like as like a cool ball or something, but... I suggest if you're going to use it as a decoration to leave a little hole there, or a little space, so you can stick that um, piece of wood in. Alright guys, so I finished doing it, and you can leave a bit of, bit of a bigger space. Um, so I finished, and it doesn't have to be a lot, and you can set it down lightly, because um, if you don't, um, if you kind of touch it too much, the uh, Q-tips can start falling out had only one fallout, so you want to push them in as far as you So now you're going to take your stick, and you want to gently pick it up, and stick it in. And you can paint it, but this is a little discolored, but I don't really want to paint it. Just stick it in as far as you think you need to, and then test it on its stick. Upside down, shake it just a little bit, and then see how well it does when you spin it around. And you can balance it a little bit more, so you can take it out and you can stick it back in. And you can even glue it in. So now set it down very gently. And you want like a little plastic, almost like a bowl, like a paper bowl. Alright, so now what you need is a plastic plate or bowl. A plastic bowl is so much better, but I don't have a plastic bowl or paper bowl or whatever. So, you might want to slant it if you have a plate like this, but just leave it on a flat surface for now. So then you're going to take a paint of whatever color you want, or you, you can just leave it like this. I think you should put paint on it, but you don't have to. So, now you want to get some paint. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do blue. So, blue, I'm just taking some paint, and I'm gonna pour some out. So I have some paint, and so now what you're going to do, you're going to take your thing, and your paint, and just basically roll it in it, and see it's not going to get very 
very big on it. You just want to kind of roll it, roll it in it. And so keep rolling it. It might not be perfect, but try and roll it as much as you can. it up a few times and just make sure that you didn't miss any part of it. And if you think that it should have more paint, you can take a paintbrush or something and make that nice and good. But I kind of like 